This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. There are two main methods of interfacing with AutoCAD 2010, the mouse and the keyboard. Many users will use the mouse almost exclusively, using the keyboard only when it's unavoidable. However, the key to efficiency in AutoCAD is to take advantage of as many tools as you possibly can. That definitely includes the keyboard. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you will see a whitish grayish colored area about three or four lines, each containing the word command. This is the command line. Here you can type in any command into AutoCAD. In these videos, I will often say, type on the command line. This is where you will type. Not only can you execute commands through the command line, but AutoCAD will give you feedback through it. Many commands have options to them. Those options will appear here on the command line. For example, the circle command. To start the circle command through the command line, type circle, C-I-R-C-L-E, then hit the enter key. As you see, there are many options available to you on how to draw a circle. Many commands are like this. Did you notice in your crosshairs that when you type circle on the command line, well, if not, maybe your dynamic input was turned off. To turn it on, go to the status bar at the bottom of the screen, find the icon for the dynamic input, click it to turn it on. There's a second form of the command line. That's the dynamic input tool. This is a visual aid that's intended to help the drafter in efficiency. It puts the command line, or part of it, at your crosshairs so you don't have to keep moving your eyes from the crosshair to the command line and back again. This also helps prevent headaches. If you're a good typist, then you can type circle without moving your eyes from your crosshairs. Now this might not sound like much, but if you execute hundreds of commands, if not thousands, you know, every day, that half of a second that you will save will save you a lot of time. Let me demonstrate. As before, I typed in the command line circle, now I will just start typing circle, C-I-R-C-L-E. It shows up here in the dynamic input. Not on the command line, but it has the same functions. I'll press enter, and now I have the options as I had before in the command line, and I can start drawing my circle. Another way to enter commands on the command line is through keyboard aliases. All commands can be executed by typing on the command line but most commands have a command alias shortcut. For example, circle. You can type it out, but why? When all you have to do is type the letter C. I'll press enter. Once again, we have our options for the circle and we can start drawing. There's our circle. These command aliases are key to being efficient in AutoCAD. And it's so key that many users don't even realize that they are there or they don't know what the command aliases are. Here's a tip. When you use AutoCAD, use both hands, one on the keyboard and one on the mouse. Use the command alias shortcuts on the keyboard and keep your other hand on the mouse. It's more efficient than only using your mouse. I'll show you. It takes me some time to move to the proper tab and then to the proper panel for my circle. Now if I were in another tab, drawing over here, I need to draw a circle. Home, circle. Now watch. I'll use my shortcut alias. Done. Much quicker. Here are a few more tips for using the command line. If you press the F2 button, the command line will appear in a new window. This will allow you to see what you've done. Hit F2 to turn it off. Here's another one. With your dynamic input turned on, like we have, press the C button. Now press the Tab key. This will toggle through all of the keyboard commands that start with the letter C. If I hit it again, Cal, for calculator, for calculator input, for the camera, the camera display, camera height. We will go through all of the commands that start with C. As you can see, there are a lot. Last tip of this section. 
press the up arrow key. That's the last command I used. That's the command I used before that. The arrow keys will scroll through all of your latest commands. This is very handy if you need to go back and forth between a few commands. Just scroll through it until you get to the command you want and press enter. The real key to AutoCAD efficiency is doing less work. The less you have to do, the quicker you can get it done.